Good morning. Good morning. Hello, ladies. Okay, so today we're going to talk about a problem area as we age. Okay, so right through here, if you tanned a lot when you were younger, you start getting quite a bit of sun damage. I know a lot of women do, and it's kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple products that can absolutely camouflage this area and you will be amazed. So I want to show you basically what kind of sun damage that I have. So let me take off this earring. Good morning. Good morning. Say hi when you hop on here and where you're from. So that way I know who is watching. All right. So I want you to see ladies. Let me get up to the window. Um, and then I'll show you after too. So do you see this sun damage through here? It's pretty brown through here and through here. And then on this side, you'll see quite a bit of it as well. So those are areas that it's like, you know what? These, I really like to get something to camouflage this up. So, all right, ladies, we're hoping that this little stand will not fall. All right, so let me go ahead. Hang on. Sorry about this, ladies. My office is getting new flooring, so I am kind of setting up all around the house <laughs> in different areas, and my equipment is not the same of what it usually is. All right, so there's a couple different products that we're going to use that I'm going to help you camouflage this up, okay? So we're going to do two different products. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for the hearts and thanks for the thumbs up. All right. We're going to do on one side our liquid foundation. Okay. And then on the other side, I'm going to use our touch cream foundation. Some women do not like to use liquid foundation and other women likes to use cream. Then we're going to set a powder over the top of it. Okay. So depending on what you're looking for, you're still going to get the same coverage. All right. So let me go ahead and get started on this side. This is our liquid foundation and you can always add our concealer underneath it. Good morning, Lori. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of our liquid foundation onto my liquid foundation brush. All right. Now what I'm going to do, and I've matched this to my foundation um, that's on my face, okay? So as you can see, ladies, this is already doing a pretty good coverage, all right? It's a medium coverage, but it's buildable. So if you're unhappy with that, you still see a little bit. Now we do have a skin perfecting concealer that will absolutely cover it as well. But I'm showing you with just this product, of what it can do all right so and when you're putting on your foundation you want to go ahead and spread it down to your neck anyway just so everything pretty much matches all right so this side is with the liquid foundation and you can see that that is pretty well covered up and I'll get up into the window here in a few minutes so that way you ladies can see it a little bit more Sun Okay, so we're going to go pretty much right down to the middle. And then you're just going to buff that in. Okay. And then you can take it down to your decollete area as well as if you want to. All right, so this side we have our liquid foundation. It goes on liquid, dries to a powder. I love, love, love our liquid foundation. But... We also have many other choices. This looks like our pressed powder, but this is in the cream form. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little sponge that it provides. Let's take this earring off as well. And we're going to do the same thing. All right, we're just going to pat right over the top of that. And ladies, just kind of blend it backward into your back of your neck so that way you don't you know, see a line right through here. But I just want to show you how good a coverage that our foundation products, I mean, they are just absolutely amazing. Now, this is in the same color. They're both in the same one. And our pressed powders, our cream 
foundations, our liquid foundations, and our concealer are all in the same shades. Okay, so you have tons of different choices. All right, so right through here is really where I have the worst of it is through here and through here. And I have started using more sun black, but it just always seems to get a little bit worse when the sun starts coming out and it starts peeking through. Okay, so as of right now, all right, we've got it pretty good covered. But anytime that I use foundation, ladies, I always used a pressed powder just to set everything, okay? Now, this is in the powder form. It looks the same as the cream, but one is cream and one is powder. All right, so we're just going to take you our have brush. You the G offense and your location is disarmed. Sorry about that, ladies. That is my alarm system <laughs> saying that my alarm is not on. Okay, then we're just going to buff this right in. Okay, now let me show you what this looks like. Let's hop up into a window. See this, ladies? It's all nice blended in. Everything flows nice together. And at the beginning, like I said, I have a ton of some damage through here and right through here. So now that that is all covered up with just a couple little products, you do not need to worry about wearing high necked tops and scarves. And I mean, it's all opened up, everything looks nice, and then you're good to go. All right. So as a recap, this is our liquid foundation. Or you can use our cream foundation, which is in the compact, and then I always, always top it off with my pressed powder foundation. Now, if you get these two together, you're going to, you can get it in the set collection saps, collections slash sets. And if you get two, you get you save a little bit extra money on that as well. You can get a cream and a powder, or you can just get two powders. It's completely up to you. So also, ladies, let's talk about this lippy look. All right. So I know a ton of women love neutral lips. They want to kind of stay in the box and they, you know, they want something on their lips, but not with a whole lot of color, but with a little bit of color. So let me show you some nude products that you can try. Okay. So what I have on, well, let's start with our lip liners. Okay. So these are pretty much in our nude neutral lip line. Now, not all of them are lip liners. I do have one that's an eyeliner that I use it as a lip liner. All right. So we've got um, plush. We have Prudent, we have Prim, this one's an eyeliner, and then this is Pouty. And a lot of times, ladies, I will kind of use two at the same time, just depending on which lip look I'm going for, okay? So as of right now, I have paired up these two, which is Pouty and Prim. All right, so you can pretty much, you could just use our lip liners as a lip look and then put a clear gloss over it but I'm gonna show you some additional options that you can take. All right, so this is our nude neutral lip liners. Then in a nude line for lipsticks. All right, these are our creamier lipsticks. All right, so I'm gonna show you four of these. This color, okay, so ladies, we gotta get the glasses on. This color is called Stuck Up. It's more of a neutral, but it's kind of like in a brown reddish color, maybe. Um, that is, what was it again? It was called Stuck Up. Then we have Well To Do, which is a very nude color. A lot of times what I will do is whatever lip product I put on, I will put this kind of in the center of it and smudge it out. I love stuck up, or this is well to do. Then we also have, which is prodigal. This is what I have on today. Look at that color. It's kind of like a peachy new, neutral. And then we also have loaded, which is a gorgeous 
more on the red side. So these are going to be more on the neutral colors, okay? In the lip in the creamy lipsticks. Then also, ladies, we have our splash liquid lipstick, which these are more on our neutral, which is stellar. Um stellar. Hang on here. Then we have uh superior which is more of a uh, metallic these are mattes stellar and what is the other one oh my gosh i cannot actually these both are stellar i believe yes uh but there is another one i cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head but these are all really nice we've got a couple metallics and we also have a couple mattes but it's still going to give you that neutral nude look then i grabbed a couple of our lip glosses okay these are pretty much in out and we still have a couple more but i didn't want to keep you ladies forever all right so this right here is called lucid which is a gorgeous like orchid color love this color and our lip glosses are non-sticky. They go on smooth. Gives you a really nice shine. So if you're looking for maybe a liquid matte lipstick and you're like, I don't really like the matte feel, you could pop one of these over the top of it because they are like a little bit on the lighter side on the colors. Uh, this is one that is becoming pretty popular. It's called Lippy, which is kind of like a neutral pink color okay then we have our most popular one that is Lux, and this is a very neutral i use this all the time and then this is our uh lovable which is kind of like a bubblegum pink it goes on i put it a lot of times just over a lip liner i'll fill my lips in with a lip liner as in like um this one here, these two here, which is prudent or pouty, put this over the top of it and it is gorgeous. So that is our nude lippy looks, um, some different products. If you need help, ladies, don't hesitate to reach out to me and I would love to pair up some items for you. But I wanted to definitely show you because I know as spring is coming on and you're going to start getting out into the uh, weather this starts popping out. So I wanted to give you some solutions that you can turn to. So that way you can wear lower tops, V-necks, lower scooped necks, and you feel completely confident and comfortable in your skin. Okay. All right, ladies, go out, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.